Hey guys, I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see the other set of transformation functions which is available in Beam. So basically, we will be view seeing uh, core Beam transformation function called Pardu and the other element wise transformation functions called key, keys, keys, key variable swap values and two string. So this are the topic for today's video before continuing with today's video I just wanted to give a quick recap what we covered in previous video in our previous video we covered element wise aggregator functions called map flat map and filter I'll give you the I'll give you the video link in the description box please take a look at it if you didn't see it previously so without any further delay let's get started with today's video so what is part two Pardo is a beam transformation. It's a core beam transformation for generic parallel processing pipelines for both stream as well as batch processing data. So Pardo processing paradigm is similar to map, flat map, filter, all those things. It will basically uh, do all the functions. We can do all the map, flat map, filter, every functions inside the Pardo itself. So a Pardo transform, it considers create each, it considers each element. So uh, focus on this line so part do transform considers each element in the input p collection performs some processing function basically our user code on that element and finally emits 0 1 or multiple elements to an output p collection so it takes an input p collection in the pipe uh, in the data each element in the data it do it does some processing function based on like user provided uh, code and then it will emit the data like either it is 0 or 1 or multiple p collection that is why it is the most used and common transformation function in apache beam it also supports other common data processing operations including uh, filtering a data set formatting or type converting each element in the data set extracting parts of each element in a data set for example if you wanted to extract a tuple from the data set which we can do it using part two function and by writing a explicit user code for that and performing computations on each element in the data set so when we use part two function it internally in inherits another function called do function object so what is do function do function is a beam sdk that defines a distributed processing function it is a processing function which takes a code from the user and does the processing and give it and proceed with the next step so the do function option do function object that you pass to part do contains a processing logic that gets applied to the element in the input collection so this do function object will have the actual processing logic which is passed to part do part do function now <coughs> let's see what is present in this three points so play uh, give um, a full attention to this three points Basically, first I'll go through it and then I'll explain you with the actual code what have we written here. So, first of all, going through the uh, theoretical part, you don't need to manually extract the element from the input collection, input P collection. The Beam SDK handles that for you. Your process method should accept an argument element, which is the input element and returns an iterable with its output values. So we don't need to specifically uh, given um, input P collection. Basically, Beam SDK will take care of it. That is explained in the first point. And the next point is um, we should uh, design our uh, processing function in a way that it takes an input argument, input P collection argument, and returns an iterable with its output values. And the third function is a given do function instance generally gets invoked in one or more times to process some arbitrary bundles of element. If we create an, a do function object, we can invoke it many times in the pipeline, uh, two or many times or how many times you want to know, like we can invoke that in our actual data pipeline. So now we will see what does this, what does the three point explains. We will actually check this with the code. So this is where I have created a part do function. Uh, this is my part do, this is the function which I'll be passing it in the part do. So it inherits beam dot do function it and it uh, takes a process it is it it no, it doesn't take a process it has some function user defined function process where it takes an input p collection and returns an output variable 
so this element is nothing but input p collection and it returns a way uh, returns after after processing the user defined logic basically it splits the data based on the comma value and this again it takes an input p collection and basically it returns the length of that p collection is this is confined inside the list itself as returned as a single object so now if you see i have written the actual uh, pipeline this we will see in the uh, later part while we are explaining the practical i'll show the show, walk you over this code so now um, do function and part do is pretty much clear we will see how it is implemented practically and now we will see what is the element wise aggregator function keys basically if there is an uh, input p collection in the uh, in the form of key value pass if you wanted to get the key alone we will be passing this element wise arbiter and if you wanted to get the values we will be passing this values uh, into the p input p collection and if you wanted to transform every element in this string, every element in the input p collection to a string base we will be using two string and there is three defined function one is key variable to string key value pass to string elements to string and i troubles to sing so we will see what is this while implementing practically and the final one is key variable swap so if you wanted to swap key and variable we will be using this function to do it so i guess uh, i have pretty much covered everything now we will see it how to implement it practically using apache beam sdk so i am using google collab notebook for this i'm installing this apache beam and importing apache beam as beam first for part two before explaining part two i'll be explaining the code which i wanted to accomplish it using part two uh, instead of using part two i'll be using a normal uh, transformation functions called map filter all those things basically i'm reading this in students.txt file this file does uh, students uh, where, where are they from which from which city what is their age what is their marks and what is their result whether they are passed or failed so this is the sample data uh, this is just a cooked up data i took it from uh, i cooked up um, i cooked this data on my own so i am creating a pipeline i am reading that text i am reading the data from the students.txt i am skipping the header line first first line is i am skipping the header line then i am splitting the record based on comma and I'm filtering the record on fifth column uh, with fail. So this I have to replace it with fail. And then I'm writing it to the this location result fail dot students. So if you see uh, after performing this operation, I'm getting only four records. There are four records which the students actually got failed. Now the same function I'll be using it. Uh, I'll be implementing using part two function. So as I explained earlier, split row and compute word length. Uh, this are the part two function. This are the function which I'll be using inside the part do. If you see compute word length as I part is a part do and split low as I pass into part do. So same I'm reading the same data set and I'm using that part do function to split the row based on the comma value and then I'm filtering the record using fail. So this also I can use it, I can create a, a simple part do function, I can implement it. But I don't want to complicate things. I just wanted to show all the things. Like I wanted to incorporate both part do as well as the normal transformations. So I'm using directly filter and I'm saving it in the count data. This is my p collection which I'll, which holds the data of this transformed function. Now I'm taking this count data and I'm passing into uh, I'm taking this count data and I'm writing it to the text file. Now I'm I wanted to compute the length. What is the length of this after filtering the data with the fail? I wanted to compute that data. For this, I'm using compute word length function, which inherits beam dot do function. I'm just returning the length of the element, length of the element doesn't length of the p collection, and I'm writing that word length to this location results underscore count data and the actual data to this result underscore failed data. After executing it. Um, if you see the count underscore data zero count underscore data it does um, six 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 but actually six is not the value we wanted to have four like only one value four this we will be uh, implementing it uh, when this we will get that actual count of the data pipeline or actual count of that p collection when we are using uh, uh, metrics in uh, apache beam metrics is nothing but um, to get the uh, pipeline parameter to get the uh, logs like you can assume like metrics is like logs 
what is internally happening happening inside the uh, pipeline to get the values what is internally happening in the pipeline we will be using metrics so there are basically three types of metrics in apache beam one is uh, count counter the next one is guards the other one is distribution we will be using counter to get the count of the p collection inside the pipeline i'll show you um, uh, in the upcoming videos how to use metrics now we wanted like now i will show you what is the result of failed data so basically it has four results the same what we received when we are using map filter like without using pardo the result are same so uh, pardo will be very handy when it comes with the big handle big 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 data set so this is how and we like pardo is very common we have to implement we have to make use of it pardo is very common and it's where more more powerful when compared with map and filter all those things so next thing is key keys so basically i have created a pipeline which are which is in the form of tuple i just wanted to get the key of this uh, beam uh, key of this p collection so key is nothing but the uh, symbols i am getting it similarly when i am using beam dot values i will be getting the strawberry carrot the value of this uh, p collection and then two string so basically there is key values pair to string elements to string iterables to string everything will be in the same now i am using key value uh, to string so it is in the form of tuple you can see and i am just getting like um, to string i am converting directly to string so instead of this i can use element so if i use element i can get in the form of both the things like both uh, actual elements now i can use I can use iterables. Iterables to get the uh, to convert all the data to string. So this is one. So basically, it is uh, we'll be not using much on all, but ju just to understand what is um, to how to convert the p collection data to string. So next, the final one is key value swap. So basically, I wanted to convert this key to value and this value to key. We'll be using key value swap that's it so i have implemented it practically we have gone through it so that's it for today's video i hope you learned something from this video uh, if you have any questions or doubt please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply it as soon as possible if you wanted to learn more about this whatever i explained par do uh, do function um, key key uh, key variable swap key value swap values and two string you can go through this video and you can go through this link link you can go through this link and make use of it so uh, please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and don't forget to press the bell icon and that's it for today's video and uh, i'll come uh, i'll come i'll come and see you in the next video with a new topic until then it's bye from Vignesh. Happy learning.